hi guys welcome back to another video and today it's a q a and i'll have my sister do my voiceover so let's give the mic to her to ask our questions then i'll answer sister how has life been life has been good life has been cute life has been sweet life has just been whatever life has said it is because life is hard in nigeria at this moment but we keep moving yeah so that's just it's life has just been lifing and we're going to keep moving yeah that's a summary of last year and what's your biggest lesson of the year uh, my summary of last year last year was really nice last year was what it was last year was beautiful at least last year i knew that i started a business i grew a business um it taught me a lot it taught me self-awareness knowing who i am what i want to do knowing who i want to become knowing what i want to do in the future like it, last year was more of a self-awareness year for me growing learning improving on myself it was just like a year of staying at home and nothing like i don't feel like um i have any other plans it was just basically just being at home learning because yeah i started an internship last year I started my internship last year and that was one of the most um thoughtful things i did for myself like starting up my internship uh, my business growing my business so last year was just it we made a lot of mistakes we learned a lot so is it yeah i don't i don't see any regrets of the year um the only regret i will say is that i wasn't constant and consistent enough on my platforms yeah just that wasn't consistent and that's why we have a new year of reset and knowing where to start from and knowing where to stop so this year is going to be a better year for us in terms of consistency in terms of growth we're going to do more this year how and what are your plans for the year and youtube so my plans for the year is very simple just growth putting that work and growth putting in the work and growth we're going to put in the work very well in every realm of my life is going to be fruitful youtube and we're going to do a lot of things this year and we're going to keep growing and keep getting better do you have a vow valentine discovery where is your boyfriend i don't have a vow for now because nobody has asked me to be their vow yet so let's keep it's still vow the vow is like in five days or six days i don't know but like it's still time it's still time someone can ask us who is your vow you understand yeah let your sister ask you to be her vow <laughs> my sister has asked me to be her vow guys so please i'm off the market my sister's vow <laughs> Okay, do you see yourself getting married anytime soon? Mm. Marriage. Before, when I was in uni, if you tell me this question, I'll answer, what am I going to go and do there? Like, that's my answer. Like, what am I going to do there? What is happening there? Can I cook? Can I clean? Can I mob? Please, I'm not here already. But as I'm getting older and more mature, I'm feeling like, yes, but not soon yes but not so at least let me let me grow let me know something very well so if they tell me something that please i can i can do it but now i'm still growing i'm still putting in work i'm still learning i'm still yeah marriage is a lot marriage is a lot i'll say how is the internship and nyc plans plus moving to a new town so currently i'm still doing my internship because i was meant to follow this batch a um stream a to go for service but something happened so i'm not following them and the next batch is um april so hopefully i be able to go and and 
NYC just gives you that leverage of moving into another town. So yeah, there's plans of moving into another town. I see in another town. But the problem is, I don't even know where I want to move to. Like the cost of living in Nigeria, the crisis of cost of living. Imagine I say now I want to go to Lagos. Like Lagos is expensive. Like Abuja is expensive. Like I don't know where I want to go. But you know, I don't want to go to the. F I don't want to go to the north. I don't want to go to Kano. I don't want to go to Castina, Jos. But like today, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, these plans of moving into another city and very soon. How does it feel to be a content creator in Nigeria? Being a content creator in Nigeria, as of now. It's very difficult like being a content creator in nigeria as of now is very difficult because things are expensive and content creation needs you to invest anybody that says content creation does not need to invest is it like you need to invest in a lot of things in gears in clothes in a whole lot of things so content creating now it's expensive but will it stop us we're going to keep moving regardless of whatever it is so that's the end of this video just a that's the end of this video it was just a um a short um where have i been a short life update a short um clip just saying where i've been all this while and one thing i promised this year and promised myself is to be more consistent on here